Okay, so I'm trying something slightly different this time. I made a patch already, and I called it Super Awesome Looping Fun Time by Joel Rich. And I'm going to dissect it, and hopefully that will be helpful somehow. Uh, it's got a bunch of controls. This is the delay time. This is the feedback. Uh, this is the wobble. Wobble sort of like this little change in between the individual channels. So I've got left and right channels in this one. Uh, I've just got a couple of uh, reader like um, audio level meters for the outputs, one for the input. This is a uh, this just shows where the how long the delay is. So when this is on, it it shows in real time where it's going. Uh, all right, and so the neat thing about Maximum Speed Five, if you don't already know, is presentation mode, and I this is such a lifesaver. Uh, because this looks so beautiful and nice, but it didn't start out that way. It started off something like this. Something kind of hideous, but beautiful in its own way. So the audio flow is moving from the microphone down these wires to the tape loop. And then it's going out the tape loop and to the volume control and from the volume control to the speaker. And that's really all it's doing. The interesting part, however, comes when we control those elements in dynamic and interesting ways. Um, so one of the ways we're doing that is through the line object. And the line object is controlling the outputs of the tape outs from the delay. So imagine this piece of bubblegum is the audio tape. and this right here is the beginning and this is the end and as you slide this across you're scrubbing over the audio tape with a reader head so it's like it's a little imagine the the reader head on a cassette tape is scrubbing over a piece of tape that's constantly moving down this way and like the audio is coming in here so this audio is coming right here and then it just moves down and and this thing is the place where the audio heads are and where it feeds back. So it's doing this, you know, small loops or big loops, big loops like that. So what that sounds like is something like this, sort of a big loop, big loop. And we could make the loop smaller and smaller and smaller, 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 smaller. So it's pretty small. It's a pretty small. Let's take that down a little bit. Okay. Wow. All right. And okay, so that's doing that. The other thing that this is doing is using the cycle object to feed into the tape outs. Uh, what that does is it adds together with the line. So the line is essentially outputting a number, and that number is the number of milliseconds that the tape out is waiting before outputting the volume, uh, outputting the sound. And so when you add another number to that, it just makes that delay higher or lower if the number is negative. So if you add a num a negative number into here, it's actually you know, it makes it a lower delay time. So what cycle does is it goes from minus one to plus one uh, in a sine wave form and we multiply it by it says 33 or it's, you know it's, it's actually 20 but we can change it to whatever we want so say it's now it's multiplying it by 74 so it's going from minus 74 to plus 74 and to make a an easy variation between the two this one is, is multiplying it by negative one so while this is 74 this one is minus 74 and it's going to the opposite channel so they're kind of moving yeah they're kind of weaving back and forth opposite of each other and you can you can hear when I turn up the okay so it warbles twice a second by this amount here Turn it down, it actually sounds kind of cool. So if you have your stereo headphones in, it would sound kind of neat. 
so one sounds like it's slowing down and one sounds like it's speeding up constantly. And it just switches back and forth. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's just kind of cool. Go back into presentation mode. Look how nice that looks. Presentation mode's fantastic. I'm just gonna fool around with it. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, but um, I'm going to be making this patch available on my website. I haven't really set up my website yet properly, but I will have a link in the notes. And yeah, I'm going to do some more shows soon. Um, people want to see sequencing, uh, and somebody else wanted uh, crazy guitar effects, and both of those will probably be really cool to do. I'm just going to... I just already had this one set up, so I did it, and yeah, I'll do some more soon. Bye. It's sort of like my poor, ugly duckling of a Max MSP patch, and then it grew up to be a beautiful swan. And it's ugly, and it's beautiful.